Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video brought to you by Trader24. For more financial analysis, subscribe to our channel. Fourth consecutive down session for the US large cap index S&P 500, as the combined problem of inflationary pressures and recessionary vice remains. And with the in-palm fireworks of the ADP announcement the day before, things probably got worse as it refueled the bearish momentum, with implications for concerns over the upcoming macroeconomic data next week. Investor sentiment is being catalyzed by the very tight grip of the very expensive dollar, high treasury yields at 3.16%, and the now stern instructions from the otherwise moderate Powell that strong interventions are coming as long as inflation persists in such high rates. Factor in the Eurozone's tragic position, both in terms of CPI at 50-year highs and in terms of the energy crisis, and it is obvious that the trajectory points to a recession. Worst of all, the recession will be da uh, sorry. Worst of all, the recession will be diagnosed at a time when the ECB in particular has confirmed its inability to defend itself, as member states have not absorbed the support packages in the best way, and the disruption in liquidity will prove disastrous. The S&P 500, reflecting the expectations of the investment community, is backtracking in both the medium and short term. The initial failure to reach the 4,300 points tested weeks ago and the subsequent loss of support at 4,120 leads to the conclusion that the index is losing ground, both under the weight of defensive sorting and in the absence of buying sentiment in most of its constituent stocks. The reception zone is seen in the 3,550 to 3,600 zone, with the first and critical resistance at 4,130. Recall that the meaning of the new Eurozone inflation data alongside the expected ECB decision on interest rate targeting for the next six weeks, indicates the recovery to these levels will be rather difficult.